Welcome to this Premiere Training revision video which looks at the VAT return. You will normally send a VAT return to HMRC every three months, and all transactions with a tax point that falls within those three months must be included. Virtually all VAT registered businesses are now required by law to submit their returns online and pay electronically. And there are nine boxes to complete on the return. Boxes 1 to 5 show the VAT element only, and boxes 6 to 9 show amounts without VAT and are shown in whole pounds. Let's look at each box in a little more detail. Starting at the top is box 1. This is for the VAT due on sales and other outputs. So here you need to include the VAT due on all goods and services supplied in the period. That is, the output VAT or output tax. As well as regular sales, remember to include the VAT on goods taken out of the business for private use, as if you own the business, you must charge yourself VAT. And you should also include the VAT on any fuel used for private motoring, where the VAT is accounted for using the fuel scale charge. Also included in box 1, is the VAT due on any imports accounted for through postponed accounting or reverse charges for services. And we must remember to deduct the VAT on any credit notes that have been issued. Finally, Box 1 may also need to include an adjustment for earlier period errors. If there has been a net underpayment of VAT in a previous return, then as long as the amount is under £10,000, the adjustment for the underpayment will be added to the credit side of the VAT control account and box 1 of the return. Box 2 is for VAT due on intra-community acquisitions of goods made in Northern Ireland from EU member states. There are special rules for trade between the EU and Northern Ireland, but these are outside the scope of this unit and you won't be expected to know about the figures in this box for your assessment. Box 3 is for the total tax due, and is simply the sum of boxes 1 and 2. Box 4 reports the VAT reclaimed in the period on purchases and other inputs, including acquisitions from the EU. So here we include the VAT due on all goods and services purchased in the period, that is, the input VAT or input tax and this will also include any VAT paid on expenses and any capital items used within the business. And as well as any purchases made in the UK, this is where you can reclaim the VAT on imports. Box 4 also includes any VAT being reclaimed on imports accounted for through postponed VAT accounting or paid under the reverse charge procedure. And also included here is any VAT relating to bad debt relief. And we must remember to deduct the VAT on any credit notes received from suppliers. Finally, Box 4 may also need to include an adjustment for earlier period errors. And this time, if there has been a net overpayment of VAT in a previous return, then as long as the amount again is under £10,000, the adjustment for the overpayment will be added to the debit side of the VAT control account and Box 4 of the return. Next is box 5, the net VAT to pay to HMRC or that's being reclaimed. And this is the difference between boxes 3 and 4. If the figure in box 3 is more than the figure in box 4, the difference is the amount you must pay to HMRC. But if the figure in box 3 is less than the figure in box 4, then HMRC will refund the difference, subject to any inquiries they may need to make. Box 6 is the total value of sales and all other outputs excluding any VAT. This will include exempt, standard and zero rated supplies made, supplies to EU and non-EU states, that is exports, as well as any fuel scale charges. 
and this total should also be adjusted for any credit notes issued by the business, excluding the VAT. Box 7 is for the total value of purchases and all other inputs, again excluding any VAT. This will include all exempt, standard and zero rated purchases, as well as any expenses and capital items, and will include imports, and the total should also be adjusted for any credit notes received by the business, excluding VAT. However, you should not include items outside the scope of VAT, such as wages, PAYE or national insurance contributions, and nor should you include drawings and certain other taxes such as vehicle licence duty or business rates. Boxes 8 and 9 relate solely to trade between Northern Ireland and EU member states. These areas are currently outside the scope of the unit and will not be tested in your assessment. And that concludes our look at the VAT return. But finally, and importantly, as VAT returns are automatically generated using Making Tax Digital software, you won't be asked to prepare a full VAT return in your assessment. However, you may be asked to reconcile draft VAT return information against existing accounts, or identify any differences. And you could also be tested on what items are included in each box of the return. So it will still be important to learn what goes where, and how a VAT return needs to be completed. I hope you found this video helpful, and thanks for watching.